This one's one of my favorite reactions as a chemistry teacher. I take some barium hydroxide octahydrates, chemical I got in the storeroom, and I take it and I mix it with a certain quantity of ammonium thiocyanate. And I take those two chemicals, which are both solids, and I put them into one beaker, and I just take my stirring rod and stir it. And what happens is, these water molecules start to be released and forms an aqueous solution. And so, you start getting a solid and it starts to turn to slush. And then, it really turns into a liquefied type of, of, of mess, where we get this formed. You can smell the ammonia coming off, that terrible ammonia smell. And barium cyanate aqueous forms in solution, and 10 water molecules are going to be released too. There's already 8 in here, plus some of the hydroxides turning into water gives you 10. From this, that's really an acid-base reaction because NH4 positive is a proton donor. It's a bronze and lowry acid. Hey! I love this one because I say to my students, all right, let's figure out, obviously, this reaction. And you don't even have to stir it, by the way. You just put these two chemicals together, and eventually, this kind of thing is going to happen. Just stirring it actually just enhances the rate of the reaction. And by the way, chemical kinetics, which is about rates, has nothing to do with thermodynamics directly related to one another. Because the rate of a reaction doesn't mean that a reaction happens or not kind of thing. Kinetics and thermodynamics are in the Venn diagram not even overlapping each other. You know what I mean? Like, like diamond, when we, when we make diamond from carbon and compress it over time, that's actually a spontaneous reaction. That happens on, on this earth, on this planet, whether you're doing it or not, right? So it's a spontaneous reaction. But it requires a long, long, long time to be able to happen. So just because something is very slow doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Spontaneous doesn't mean instantly necessarily. A spontaneous reaction just means it happens without your intervention. That's all. So here's the thing. You take these two chemicals and you mix them together. And the cool thing is that it's cold. It's a freezing type of reaction. It's so endothermic that if you put a little bit of water underneath the beaker that you're stirring, and you just do that, and I do that too in class, and I put it on a wood block, I can actually stir that up, wait a minute, and then I can lift up the beaker and the whole block comes with it because the water underneath the beaker has frozen because this reaction is so endothermic. It, endothermic means that the reaction, this system, will suck energy from its surroundings and freeze water. Now that's a good descriptor of what's happening. The water liquid's turning into water solid, so it's becoming more ordered, right? So the surroundings is becoming more ordered, yeah. So that's an endothermic reaction. So it's a positive delta H. Now think about that. If it's a positive delta H, but it's a spontaneous reaction, which is a negative delta G, what's going on here? See, this is an endothermic reaction. And so if it's endothermic, it's in contravention of being spontaneous. So what's got to happen is, this system entropy better be really high, so a positive entropy of the system has to occur. In order for this to be a negative, negative value here and a positive makes a negative here if this negative is great enough. Is the system entropy great enough? A big number in terms of positive entropy, entropy that's produced. Look at it. It's fantastic. Solids turning into gas, aqueous liquid. Totally ordered, turning into disorder. Huge amount of entropy increase. And one, two, three molecules of reactants making 13 molecules of products. A huge increase in entropy. A huge positive value here. Multiplied with this negative makes a huge negative. When added to this little positive here makes a huge negative. And the reaction is delta G negative, free energy release, spontaneous reaction. Isn't that really cool? Well, it's cool. It's very cold.